Hey guys, it's me, Meteor. Welcome to another edition of What is Kirby Cannon? Today, we're talking about Marks and the Novas. The story begins at the Fountain of Dreams, where Kirby is just mesmerized by its greatness. Then Marks appears and tells Kirby about this horrible event about the Sun and the Moon fighting. Once he has Kirby's attention, he convinces him the only way to get them to stop is by asking the Nova for help by collecting pieces all across the galaxy. Only then will Popstar be brought back to peace. Kirby agrees to help and begins his journey to summon this ancient wish-making creation. Once Kirby successfully gathers all the pieces to summon the Nova, we find out, surprise surprise, Marx was a complete liar. Marx didn't care if the Sun and the Moon were fighting, he was the one who caused it in the first place! All Marx wanted to do was trick Kirby, gain power, and take over all of Popstar. Kirby's efforts weren't entirely in vain, however. The pieces he gathered assemble and create this starship. Kirby uses the ship to attack the source of this corrupted wish at its core. The Galactic Nova Nucleus, specifically. And because it was almost going to crash into Popstar. After he successfully destroys that thing from the inside, he then proceeds to attack Marx himself. What's interesting is that during this fight, the way Marx splits in half is very similar to Mirror. When Kirby has Mirror, his skin is even lighter similar to Marx as well. But if we notice, the colors on Marx's jester hat versus Kirby's are opposite of each other. Almost as if, personality-wise, Marx is an opposite reflection of Kirby himself. Regardless, going back to the fight itself, Kirby doesn't just defeat Marx, he gets Marx to fly into the Nova and make it explode as well. Considering how much force it would take to get the Nova to explode simply by running into it, it's hard to imagine anything surviving that. Because of this, we can safely assume that Marx is dead. Right? That depends. In Superstar Ultra, at the end of the True Arena, we see another cutscene where Marx is dead in space, absorbing some of the Nova's power along with some of its parts. Interesting of note is that when Meta Knight summoned Nova in Meta Nightmare Ultra, even though the Nova is rebuilding itself, you can still see that piece missing on top of its eye that Marx absorbed earlier. Of course, at the end of this battle, Marx screams, splits in half, and completely explodes. Though as Kumazaki pointed out, these extra modes might not even be canon to the main story anyway. And even though Marx is in the audience, isn't a very good defense, others point out, Marx is a dream friend. Are these dream friends even canon to begin with? I mean, come on, Dark Meta Knight is a dream friend. Though to be fair, most of these dream friends are given a reason as to why they're helping. Most of them. But today, we're going to focus on Marx, specifically. Apparently, Marx's reason for helping is that he sensed trouble from afar and wanted to help. This shows that Marx is willing to put his differences aside and focus on the bigger threat. However, even if his appearance in here as a dream friend isn't canon, if he's able to sense danger from afar in the first place, that would show that even if he's not present in this game, he would have had to survive the crash with Nova to be able to do so. And even if Marx is alive, thankfully he doesn't seem to care too much about world domination anymore. As long as he's well fed, apparently. Seriously, even if it's not true, the idea that Marx attacked simply because he was hungry is hilarious to think about. So that being said, if Marx is alive and the extra modes aren't canon, that would also mean that the Nova never got rebuilt and is still completely destroyed. But thankfully, as we find out from Maglor, Nova was just one of many clockwork stars. We even see another one in a newer game, but that's a different episode. And with that, we've talked about everything we needed to in this one. See you guys next time.